Hey guys, welcome back to Tea's Corner. On today's episode of Tea's Corner, I will be telling you a story about the time that I almost got arrested. Me and my friends almost got arrested. So, yeah, it was back in the Bahamas while attending high school. We had our annual sports day. So, you know, we always said sports day was a bit boring and we didn't really want to be there. So we said, okay, we're going out to have some fun. So a friend of mine had borrowed his father's car and, you know, the guys decided that they want to stop at the supermarket and get some stuff. So they got some booze alcohol and you know while driving on the highway we're just having some fun playing this silly game where the passenger driver would hop out of his seat and then the passenger would run around the car and hop back into the driver's side and you know continue on the journey so we're doing this doing this until when we look up the road we saw that there were some police officers so everybody in the car now start panicking and i said jesus we hope so they don't pull me over because if they do you know so we're under age nobody in the car now have no license and besides the boy them did a drink so we did you know and a cruise and a take really good time trying to sneak past them because yeah, over this so then they stop on next car and I talk to the driver. So we then we are try sneak past on cruise. Only now for one little rock stone. It I go clinch one little rock stone. You know? And they go fly go over which part the police officer there. So the police officer let the car to go. Hop in the car and start follow we. Turn on the light and sit in. <laughs> Everybody in the car now start panic and afraid. And I wonder say no if them go call the parents, what we are going to tell the parents say? Because a sports day with it. What we do for the road in a car? You know? And some of the girls them know. Two of the girls they had strict, 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 strict parents. Including me. Hey. Them figure go find that out. Actually, so we start come up with lies in other vehicle before we even stop. We start say we are gonna tell them say we are sister and brother and say you know say one of the youth father sick or whatever and we have to go care go pick them up or you know we start plan up we start plan up back a lie. So Anyways, the officer pulled me over. When he pulled me over, he took me out of the car. Ask for license, registration, all kind of something for the car. Hmm. None of that going out of the car. Because the youth father did take out everything and have all of the papers and everything. So, I have such trouble with that. Anyways, when them take me out of the car, them search up the car, find the buckle them, a liquor and something them. So them said to we say we will come out of the car and walk in a straight line. And me you know me already lean up come. You lean up at the car door me can stand up straight to that. My, my, my other friend she was out of it. She did drunk bad. So you know, we try, we, we, we try our best to walk on a straight line. You realize, say, you know, say we jump, but we were kids. So, him asked, we say, where we are going. We tell them, set us right around the corner, down there, so down at the house, we just like a part of the car. So, him sorry, right, him give we a chance and say, if we go on in the car and head straight home, no, make no stop, no nothing. So the police officer, them 
that's it we go on so we up in the car and then follow us go straight 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 out the yard make sure so we park the car lock the gate and go on in and then them go away boy but tell us eh? when we come out of the car and reach inside what fret we fret because them they ask for a phone number our parents phone number and we are pray to god so them knock off because if them didn't make them the phone call they hey, are dead with dead dead like anti fall it tell me tell you what god was on our side they did not receive any phone call the only person that received phone call was the guys the guy his father because it was his car so they had to call him to make sure that the car wasn't stolen or anything like that so when he got the phone call he told them that you know yes he gave us permission and all of that stuff so we were saved by the skin of our teeth so yes yeah, so anyways that is the story about how i almost me and my friends almost got arrested giving you another story time this story is about the time that I got lost so I was you know roughly about six or six or seven somewhere around there and um, I went to Kingston to look for my father so you know in a those times everywhere all of Fort Moore looked the same every street everything looked the same because it wasn't as developed as it is now so buildings were just starting to be built so everything basically looked the same so uh, my father had a shop in a bar and um, I woke up the morning and my stepmother was like my fogwan out of the shop or something from my father. She asked me say if if I if I know my way. Me not feeling brave and confident. Yes, I know my way and I can find my way. Go over over there. So when me go, when me start, me start my journey, good, good, good. Nothing more than no, when me reach to a certain point, me end up go cross the road when I shouldn't have crossed. I should have just stayed on the same hand and continue walking straight. But the cross of me go cross the road no. When me reach to a point, me go turn off, turn off and gone in a while. One lane. So me walk and walk and walk and walk and. I say wait. Me can't reach it. I mean, I say me supposed to reach a long time. So when me walk and I said I can't reach I can't find where I go I decide to say me know where I go turn back I turn, I turn back when I go turn back I say wait I go down the one day and I go down the one day and I say no sir and I don't hear so last like last 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 like I miss a lot, I mean, I'll find a way. And while there, walking, looking lost, there was this police officer who I say, Well, I'm fine because I come, he ended up that my walk to reach close to the 
station. So this police officer see me walking up and down the street, you know, turning through different lanes. So the <coughs> police officer stopped me and asked me, say, where it is that I'm going? I mean, you know, tell the police officer, I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure. So when me, so it's all right, they want to come down by the station and we 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 make an announcement on the television that you are lost so me say okay but when me say okay now what my answer to me say i'll come back up the road a little bit so when I, when my walk go up the road up, up the road me see the sign and when me see the sign now i saw come now me pick up a witch bar me really did. so I said, all right. So I turned to the officer and said, yeah, me know me fine. Where it, me know where it is that I'm going. And the police officer, follow me, go. Don't have my father shop. And when you see my father, you say, ask my father, said, me, you know me and all that. And, you know, and explain the whole situation. So, you know, my father was like, so you really colors if you never know where you go why you never tell them say you never know but me kinda well know as it's just the only reason why I end up miss the pass is because me go cross the road if me just stay upon the same and me to depend and walk straight you wouldn't ask but to cross the road but it did all work out in the end. It's just that me kind of miss my way a little bit. But no problem. I found my way back. And I don't think I've ever gotten lost per se after that day. Because you know, me to keen, 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 keen everywhere I go. I always take in my eye wide open but I be there at night and if 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 I go somewhere in a the night in a night for the first time me oh I always have something when me use as a landmark to make sure I say yeah if me should come back here so me must know where me I go me basically mark my way, I do just sit down, take drive, and I say, Yeah, we go somewhere. My mark, my mark it. So, therefore, if me figure about there, so a second time, well, my way, no, away, medical. So, that I don't say it, I don't say it can't happen, but not so easy. Man, it's so easy to forget us again. I'm always more aware of where I go, and trust me, me never confuse up my landmarks, and I use some weird things as landmarks. I don't use the major stuff that somebody go use. Probably, probably just alcohol build it sometimes i even like all uh, some blocking on the road because you know say yeah after the pass them the block there a reach or some mall or some some weird looking thing they use okay mark my because ever since that happened to me when i say yeah my last i made it yo made it afraid made it a worry because mean last in a kingston not them the time there you just walk around and around in a circle and the place where you have to go they're like right in the middle so you are walk around the one place like uh, 10 11 time and the place where you want go sit down right in the middle and you walk around but <laughs> Not again, and this has it means I'm not such as an 
adventurous person anyways I'm not really going nowhere anymore I always stick to the same old places so, yeah. that's all that's all that's all honestly again I'm not really I'm not really um going nowhere quick get boss like that again so I made it small so yeah so anyways I think we have come to the end of this story time for today so yeah don't forget to like comment share turn on that post notification so that you'll be notified each time that I drop a new video so peace thanks for watching